hello there welcome to my channel okay in this video i'm going to show you how to prove trigonometry identities all right so here's the list of the formula that will be very useful for you when you're trying to prove the trigonometry all right you can see this blue color you know the formulas in the blue color box right okay this is the basic formulas all right if you have uh, something to do with square all right so this is the three formulas you have to use in the case of you have a square all right okay in for igcse formula 8 9 and 10 is rarely used so you'll be using more 1 to 7 okay so now we have, i will train you how to use all these formulas with the questions okay now let us look at question number one okay here is the first question so we have to prove the following identities it means that we have to calculate here until we can prove that we can actually obtain this trigonometry identities okay so now i'm going to do step by step okay first we have to expand this all right so when we expand this we just expand it like a normal algebra expanding algebra okay so now okay remember one more thing okay when we have here here's a short notes for you when we have sine and we have a sine over here okay when we multiply this sign, okay, the square you have to put inside here. All right, this is the right method. And do not ever put your sign outside because it will become an x square. All right, so this is the another alternative for you. You can actually write sine x in a bracket of 2, power of 2. But normally for the exams we will use this okay so now i'm going to use this one over here all right okay cos and cos it will become cos square x cos and sine negative sine will become negative cos x sine x and then look at here you have to take together with the sign negative sign multiply here you'll be getting negative cos x sign x and then negative sign x multiply with negative sign x you'll be getting the positive sign square x okay now let us look here we can actually simplify at this part all right we can simplify this part so we gather the squares so we have the cos square x and then we move here we move the plus sine square x over here okay and then we simplify this thing it become a negative 2 cos x sine x okay now how do we simplify further okay now please look at this here is a cos square x and plus sine square x right now we go back to the the previous slide okay now can you see the number five okay the number five over here okay this is what we can use okay inside the question so now we are going to apply this into the question okay look at that this is the formula that i've shown you just now okay so i just have to substitute uh, this equals to one so the entire thing will become one here and then you just have to copy and paste this we just have to change the arrangement to 2 sine x and cos x. So now we have already proved the answer 
we look at that 1 minus 2 sin x cos x and we get the same answer as the following so your answer is proven okay now we will move to the second question guys okay here now we have your second question okay so we have to prove the first term to the second term all right so how do we simplify this So we have to make the denominators to be equal. Alright, so we just have to cross multiply. So it will become 1 plus cos x and plus we okay, just like cross multiply. This one is similar to plus 1 over b. So we just have to cross multiply this, it become b. Just multiply with B, multiply with B. Here, here will be multiply with A, multiply with A. So you'll be getting there B plus A over AB. So the similar concept we are going to perform over here. All right. So this thing will move there. And now 1 minus cos X will move to the opposite side. So it will become 1 minus cos X. And both of these will be multiplied. So this is your, all right, this is our next step. Okay, so now we are going to multiply the denominator, all right, okay. While we can actually solve the numerator as well. Okay, now if you look at this uh, blue color, uh, okay, now you see that it's a plus cos x. And here you can see it's a minus cos x. Okay, please observe the blue color. Okay, it's a plus cos x and minus cos x, right? This can be cancelled. And a 1 plus 1, you'll get there 2. And here, when we multiply this you'll be getting 1 plus cos x minus cos x and we have the minus cos square x okay all right and then we can simplify this it will become 2 let me write in a different color so it become 2 over 1 minus cos square x okay for this expression we can actually utilize the first formula we use to solve the first question which is this okay so what we are going to do now we move the positive cos x square to the opposite side it becomes this okay now you look at it okay now you look at it okay 1 minus cos square x okay is equals to sine square x so we can actually substitute this here it becomes 2 over sine square x okay if you could remember the formula cosec is actually 1 over sine x okay here there's a mistake okay it's supposed to be cosec x this one so what we are going to do now this one we can be inverted it will become 2 cosec square x so we have proved the answer all right so you just have to write here proven okay now we will be doing a question number three okay for this third question 
we have to separate this tangent x into sin x over cos x. Okay, and then you can see the sec x here. Okay, convert this one into 1 over cos. Okay, and then we combine this. It becomes over cos x. So, you already prove. Alright, so this is a proven. Okay, I hope you understand. Okay, um, it's a simple one. Okay, let us move to the a bit complicated for number 4. Okay, for the fourth example, we have to convert the left hand side to the right hand side. So, we just take this, multiply with the first one. So, it become cot 2x. Okay, here will be sine square x. We multiply this and then multiply with negative 1. It become cot square x and then 1 multiply with sine. It becomes sine square x and then here a negative uh, plus 1 minus multiply with minus 1 we get minus 1 <coughs> okay so here in this case uh, we have to look at separating them okay so here will be the cot so it becomes tangent square x here will be will be sine square x okay tangent you have to remember tangent is actually sine x over cos x okay so we can actually change this side okay we convert this into if it's a 1 over tangent x it becomes inverted cos x over sine x okay so now we take this we square and then we put it inside over here inside of this box and then we remain this as a cot square x okay and then since we have here sine square x and here sine square s we can actually eliminate this and it becomes cos square x okay we just have to change this space we put this in front all right we just change it we put here sine okay and then we just write it down minus with one okay now we have a formula for this right the formula says is a sine x square plus with cos square x equals to one so this one will be equals to one okay now you can see there is a there's a one here and there is a negative one over here so we cancel each of this and we'll be getting be getting your answer negative cot square x so this is already proven okay so this is your answer now okay this is question number five okay we have to prove the left hand equation to the right hand equation okay the only way for us to separate this is by separating the fraction 1 over sine x we plus with we plus with cos x over sine x okay so here we could actually simplify it into cos x x and then here will be uh, here will be 1 over tangent x okay we can further simplify this as cot x then we have actually simplified 
and prove the equation all right so it is proven okay i have explained about uh, proving the trigonometric identity and i have actually provide you with the five different examples hope you like this video please subscribe and please follow us because i will be uploading more videos in the future all right thank you very much guys